Hey guys, Thunder E here, and with me in my hands, I have the brand new Pixel Buds Pro. This is the coral color. And today we're gonna see how it stacks up and compares to three other true wireless buds within the market space to find out which is the best within that price point. Now let's go ahead and just start right off with the Pixel Buds Pro. Now the Buds Pro look very similar in terms of style uh, to the Pixel Buds, in terms of just the case, they look similar. And also when you open it up, they have kind of similar shape. The difference here of course is the Buds Pro, the Pixel Buds Pro doesn't have the ear wing tips like the original Buds, which is fine. Now, when we look around the case, we do have USB Type-C charging, and we also have a button for Bluetooth syncing if that's needed. And this case also supports wireless charging. Now, in terms of full battery life, you're looking at 31 hours. Now, taking a look at the buds themselves, when you look closer, you can see the Google logo on top. You can also see uh, that this has a much more elongated shape to it, and you do have uh, soft uh, rubberized tips. Now, they do fit well into your ears and you do have the ability of buying Comply Foam tips, specifically built for this by Comply Foam for the Pixel Buds Pro. But honestly, I don't think you need it. The tips actually feel really comfortable and they do a very good job in putting a complete seal. And this whole package retails for $199. Now, the very next True Wireless Buds that we're gonna take a look at are the Sony Link Bud S. Now, the Link Buds S come in this a uh, recycled material case, very tactile feel to it, also super light. The case itself supports, uh, does not support wireless charging, but you do have fast charging via USB Type-C uh, with, of course, a Bluetooth sync button. And this supports uh, up to 20 hours in total of battery life. Now, when you open this up, you can see the Link Buds S here. They are the lightest pair of True Wireless Buds within this list. Taking them out, they've also got that same tactile feel to it, again, recycled materials, and they feel very comfortable. They've got soft rubberized tips, really nice uh, concentric shape to them, and the fit is really nice. They have a good seal, plus, of course, uh, they are super light in the ear, so you can wear them for quite a long amount of time. The retail price for these are $199. Moving up next to, of course, the AirPods Pro. You know those are gonna be in here. Now, the AirPods Pro come in one color, all white. As you can see, mine here has the Comply Foam tips. Now, the case here uh, supports wireless charging as well as also direct charging via lightning port. I'm using a Nomad case, so mine just kinda just protect and cover it here. Uh, this will give you 24 hours fully with the case combined. And when you take them out, they do have that elongated stem that it's quite known for the AirPods Pro uh, themselves. And with the Comply Foam, I think they fit really well. You can, I will leave a link for you guys down below to use that and they're quite comfortable within the ears. And in terms of pricing, you're looking at a price point directly from Apple at 249, but you can find it at lower prices, about 199. And finally, as you guys know, we always like to throw in a wild card in here, and this one is from Bear Dynamic. These are the Freebird wireless headphones. Now they come in this much more rigid case and also feels the heaviest with the case itself. Uh, feels kind of metallic. You've got uh, USB charging in the back. 10 minutes of charge will give you uh, 70 minutes of playback. And these are the wireless buds. They're also the largest of all uh, four here. They've got a uh, larger size, if you will, in terms of the round base. And you can see the yellow uh, tips to them. Now, uh, they do come with a plethora of ear tips and also comply foam tips, which none of the others do, which is nice. Now, in terms of fit with the comply foam, they fit really well. And I think you can find tips that will fit uh, for you. Plus, they do have a battery life of 30 hours in total, but also 11 hours of single uh, use with the earbuds themselves. That's pretty nice. Now, the price point is about $249, and I think you can also find it for slightly cheaper in other places. So when it comes down to fit and feel with all four, I think the one with the best fit is definitely the Link Buds S. Now, Link Bud S are super light, they're very comfortable to use, and you can use them for a long time period of time, uh, followed by actually the uh, Pixel Buds Pro, then the AirPods Pro, and finally uh, the Bear Dynamic uh, Freebirds uh, wireless. Then what about battery life? We mentioned the battery life already, and it's clear that the best is actually the uh, Pixel Buds Pro with 31 hours 
then followed by the free birds with uh, 30 hours. Then you have the AirPods Pro at 24 hours battery life in total. And then finally the Link Buds S at 20 hours battery life. Okay, so let's get into the meat and gritty of this. What about audio? Because that's the main thing you buy these for. What's the audio quality on your true wireless buds? Start off with the Pixel Buds Pro. Pixel Buds Pro have some really nice solid audio. In terms of just overall audio, it feels rich. It feels, um, uh, it, you know, exhilarating, if you will. They've got some really nice space on there. Uh, the highs are good. The mids feel a little bit muddled with certain tracks. So what I've noticed is that when I'm playing more hip hop, I played some Drake, not his new album, uh, some of his older stuff. I played some uh, Nigerian music as well, where you get a lot of that bass coming in. It really resonates well with it. But when I played tracks that had more highs, so say, say some stuff from, from Michael Jackson, you tend to hear just a little bit of a muddling there in the middle. It's kind of just not separating well enough. Still really good though. I do like it, but I think that's just where you get the difference there. Now moving over to the um, the Sony Lynx Buds S. The Lynx Buds S are much brighter in the sound. Now it feels like the bass is a little bit weaker on those compared to uh, the Pixel Buds Pro. Uh, the highs are really good. The mids are, so are nice and solid, but the lows are not as strong as I would like, but still a very rich sound with there. Now with the AirPods Pro, AirPods Pro have a a very nice unique soundscape and it really does benefit also more with spatial audio honestly I think that's what I'm getting now with the AirPods Pro spatial audio does a lot more with it where you're getting um, uh, you're getting better separations between your highs and mids the lows tend to add a lot of interference whether it's with special audio off or on, that's what I'm currently getting right now. Uh, but it's something that uh, I've noticed with its current sound signature. It's still really good, but there's, a, there's not a lot of separation between those three, your highs, your mids, and the low. They feel a little bit more crushed in between. And now for the big kicker here, here's who I think is the winner. It's actually the Bear Dynamics Freebirds. They sound very nice, very warm feeling to them. Now, they do have EQ settings, and we'll go to that in a second for all of them, but they found sound warm and clean, uh, where your highs are more separated, your mids come up very distinct, and your lows feel like they're surrounded in and not crushing uh, the other parts of, of your song. So whether you're listening to hip hop, or you're listening to, to something that has more highs, especially like a lot of 80s music. Because of Stranger Things, I was like, right, you know what, I might as well listen to some, some old tracks. Uh, you get that separation and it's so clean and clear. It is absolutely amazing. Audio is pretty good on all of them with the Bear Dynamics Freebreds taking the lead there. What about the microphones? And everyone said they sounded just like I was using uh, you know, my phone to my head. So I think they have really good solid mics and I'm glad to see that that is now becoming a staple and not a separation factor from all of them. The next thing we're gonna talk about, of course, is active noise cancellation. It's very important for a lot of people now, especially when they're buying true wireless buds. And this is where I'm gonna start from the least to the highest. Coming in at number four are the Freebirds Wireless from Biodynamics. They're nice. They do block out, I'll say about maybe 80% of the noise, but uh, again, it doesn't give you the, it doesn't give you that total immersion there. Still solid, but I think it needs definitely more improvement here. Now, this is where it becomes tricky between numbers three to number one here. Number, ah, mm, I think I have to give the AirPods Pro number three. It's really close. Uh, they do always do a really good job in noise cancellation, and I think they do a fantastic job. But this is where the separation comes in between because the fit for me with both the Link Buds S and the Pixel Buds Pro are just much better. Uh, so of course I get that isolation first now. And this is where my number two comes in and that is the Pixel Buds Pro. They do a really good job in isolating, just basically making sure that you have a good seal and the active noise cancellation kicks in pretty well on here. Now, number one spots are the Lynx Buds S and it's no surprising because Sony right now has probably one of the best active noise cancellation in their true wireless headphones, whether it's the XM4s or the XM5s or the WF XM4s for the true wireless buds. And it shows here with the Link Buds S. Now, when we move over to transparency, which you 
guys are probably wondering. This is where Apple is still reigns. Apple's transparency mode, I think, is just top tier. It feels more natural, less electronic. I would say this is followed by the Lynx Buds S, then the uh, Pixel Buds Pro, and then finally uh, the Bear Dynamics Free Buds uh, Wireless. Now, what about apps and extended features? Starting off with the uh, AirPods Pro, they have no application. Apple doesn't do that. Uh, you do have some functionality within the volume settings on your iPhone to switch between active noise cancellation, transparency, or you can go into spatial audio, head tracking, or fixed. Now, that's the most you can do. You can do some more things within uh, your iPhone itself, but there are no custom EQs or anything like that. So moving to the number three in terms of applications, that will have to be the Bird Dynamics Freebirds. Now, the Freebirds Wireless, the application is more simplistic. Uh, I have low latency for gaming um, and also can go in and customize those EQs, uh, showing like warm sounds, brilliant sounds, and those EQs do a really good job in matching exactly the feel you're going for. But other than that, you can also change your active noise cancellation and reset the headphones, and that's pretty much it. Now, coming in at number two are the Pixel Buds Pro. Uh, a little bit more robust with the application. I can find my device. I have the touch control activity. I've got sound uh, and active EQ, so the volume EQ settings are there. Uh, I also have more settings for my firmware update, audio switching between devices, as well as also multiple and connecting with multiple devices as well. So, and of course, the most robust app is for the Link Buds S. Sony has a really nice customizable app. You've got adaptive sound control that basically customizes your active noise cancellation to your environment with your location. You've got really robust equalizer. You've got the option for speak to chat so that basically while you're talking and you're playing, you're listening to music, it stops the music, you can listen to someone. And then once you stop talking, it starts playing the music back up again. You've also got 360 audio, similar to spatial audio, adding that functionality built in there as well. Um, and it just gives you a lot more in terms of usability. And I think it also has the best app feature. All right, so in conclusion, who has the best true wireless earbuds right here? And honestly, they're all really good and you can't make a bad choice from picking any of them up. But I like to use my audio as my big leveraging factor. And for me, it'll have to be the Bear Dynamics Freebuds. Uh, wireless. Now the Freebirds wireless are just great in sound. They've got decent active noise cancellation, uh, but in terms of just audio quality and also mic quality, they do a really good job here. Now my number two spot will go to some to someone who you might not think, and that will be the Pixel Buds Pro. Yeah, they just edge out the Link Buds S because I do like the way the bass really comes out on there and it feels much richer. Even though the Lynx Buds S are much louder and brighter in terms of sound and I can customize that bass with the EQs, it's just that I don't have to do that immediately. So the Lynx Buds S coming at number three. And finally, the AirPods Pro are fourth place now. Again, they've been on the market for a while, so it's to be expected there should be better improvements, and I'm sure Apple has something around the corner, so we'll see how that new one lands. So there you have it, guys. Those are where they land, and if you think I'm wrong, or if you think it's something else that's the best, or you think the Pixel Buds uh, Pro are the best True Wireless Buds ever, leave those comments down below, guys. But if you wanna pick up any of these devices, I also have things for you now as well. This is Thunder E saying thank you, and, Always enjoy entertainment.